to recording this bitch. Got we're it. doing good. Yes, we are doing absolutely fine. We are all righty, all righty. There we go. So welcome everybody. Welcome to our Awareness Wednesday, which we are calling today's episode or welcome to our Flanagan Cafe. We are going to have coffee and conversation today. Coffee and conversation. That's what the topic of discussion is going to be. So welcome all our co-hosts that's is joined us. I hope, yes, it's live. I'm hoping you guys got your favorite, favorite right cup of coffee with you. I have mine. Victoria has hers. I hope you have yours. Yeah. So before we get into detail on coffee, that's, that's the Miss Campbell. Get relaxed. Cross your legs. Get a cup of coffee in your hands. <laughs> you know, it's all good. All right. Y'all can turn your cameras on and, and just put your feet up. You're going to have some good conversation this, this, this evening. Okay. So I pass over to Victoria first. Give us a spiel about why this is an important platform for this on um, um, this evening anyway. And then we'll get into detailed conversation with everybody, okay? Victoria, take it away. It's just this conversation, family. This yes. is the information that I find. I just want to keep our family aware of everything that's going on in the world. It's just so many things we have to unlearn. I mean, the things that we come up on, we're all wrong. <laughs> we have to unlearn. <laughs> and learn new ways of doing things so we can break some of those generational curses. And today we're gonna to talk about coffee and conversation. I hope you got your favorite cup of coffee because we sure have ours. Yes, we He's do. gonna do the disclaimer. We're gonna talk about our coffees and then we're gonna get directly into our conversation. Indeed, indeed. But first we're going to our topic, serving God with healthy mind, body and spirit and our scripture. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may have prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth, that's 3 John 1 and 2. Our subject today, as you can see, coffee and conversation. So again, welcome to the Flanagan's Cafe. All right, so let's get our platform started. Uh, the lines are muted at the, at the moment. And so Victoria, I know she's going to lead us off with some information here. No, uh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, the lines, I'm going to tell you, keep your guys, keep your lines muted for now. And um, as we get into detail, you guys want to speak and give us your spool on, you know, on this conversational piece this evening, you can just raise your hand and then unmute, I'll unmute you guys. And we want to hear from you, family. We do. We want to hear from you. This is our last Awareness Wednesday for the year. And we just want to hear what the what this platform has done for you, what's your favorite product, why you're doing the business, what good books have you read, yeah. what you're going to do different. This year. So this know, is, exactly. we just want to do something totally different. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to start off with explaining why this is coffee and conversation and why I love this coffee so much. So and why would you we like, like to, to do the and why we like to conversate. <laughs> Go ahead, do the disclaimer. All right, these products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Not designed to mitigate, treat, cure, or, dis uh, or cure any types of disease. But all we do know is that we have the best products on this side of heaven, including, including this coffee. Okay. This so coffee now, ain't no joke, family. We're going to get down to business. Look, this look, is my look favorite. Look at my cup. This is this is a cup. Now, see, this is a cup of coffee. He like, I like having a big old teenage boy in yes. the house. He's got to drink everything out of that giant yes, mug. Yes, absolutely. But this is my favorite coffee right here. This is our weight loss coffee. Anybody that's in our in our artist family, they know about this weight loss coffee and it is absolutely delicious. And it's just that weight loss coffee. So I have all these mugs that I like to buy. I just purchased two new mugs for Christmas and this is my newest favorite mug. It's the View Ladies. I love Whoopi and the girls. Everybody know, don't call me at 11 o'clock because I'm watching The View. <laughs> but I drink my I drink my weight loss coffee out of my new mug with the View girls that's on it. You got Whoopi and you got uh, Sandra, you got Joy, you got Anna Navarro. She is my absolute favorite. You got Sunny and then you got Alyssa. This is my new mug. I have two of those. Mm -hmm. And the weight loss coffee is just that. It is absolutely delicious and you can lose weight. It's less than 1% of caffeine, so it's not going to give you the jitters. You're not going to be bouncing off the walls. You're not going to crash later. It's just a smooth cup of coffee. It has your um, omega-3s in it. It has, it's just a, a really smooth cup of coffee. This is really my favorite. There's your reishi mushroom. Your reishi, a uh, Ganoderma reishi mushroom. And yeah. it has so many benefits of the reishi mushroom. It's a fantastic cup of coffee. Now, the other one that I'm going to speak about, I like this coffee too. This is called our Sweet Balance. We have three different coffees. We have a Sweet Balance coffee. This was designed for people who are diabetic. 
This is past the Diabetics Association. It comes in little packages like this. You just add it to water. You don't have to add anything to these coffees. All you have to do is add water and stir and drink. You can get your little gold cups and drink on the go, but this is for diabetics. It can help lower your A1C. I'm not a diabetic, but I do drink this coffee to keep mm -hmm. everything in balance. You don't have to be a diabetic to drink it. But that is our sweet balanced coffee. It has wonderful ingredients in it as well. Has um the moringa in it, has a Nepal in it. It has a lot of good benefits to help regulate your blood sugar and get you back in balance. So that's uh the two coffees that I'm going to speak about. Now, Mr. is going to talk about his favorite cup of coffee, and his is collagen. Yeah, what she he said. wants to look like a, a teenager forever so, gotta, so his is collagen i call that my i call that my tighten up his tighten up skin coffee he got the kids <laughs> drinking coffee sure i do now i don't have i don't have anybody on my cup but that's my cup as you saw that's my mug that's his I favorite have my mug. mug of coffee every single day but my collagen is the collagen is my favorite uh coffee now i love them all but the collagen is my favorite um you know it's just that aroma that flavor that smoothness the uh the collagen that's in it to help keep things tight you know which is that as we get older we need that so that's just a, an added you know benefit of being able to drink my collagen and get it into my system Absolutely. and enjoy it all at the same time that's what i love about that product right there so it's a great great product i'm sure a lot of you that's your favorite your favorite product as well that collagen right so if you haven't tried it get in contact with a distributor yep, and get us. you some coffee get, get you some, some coffee, coffie. Get your favorite there you go. mug. There, there, see, there, there you go. go. It tastes even better you out go. of your favorite mug. I, yeah. I collect mugs. <laughs> she said, I got out a sample of package of collagen. I hear samples. you. I know that's Senior right. Senior citizen. Jackson. Okay. All right, Miss Jackson. <laughs> good, good, good. All right. So let's get let's get started. Let's get started. You got some stuff you want to cover real quick? Yes, or? I want to go over this. Right. Last well, last year, I'm talking last year already. In this year, 2023. We covered a lot of topics. Every single Wednesday, we cover a topic. And this this year, I covered quite a few new things that just wasn't on the ballot at all. There's some things that I picked up or picked up out of my head. So I just want to go over a few of the new topics that I picked up. Uh, on July 26th, my birthday, wow, well, mm -hmm. We did renew, repair, and regenerate your body in 365 days. So that was a, a good one for me. Another one that we did, how grief affects your health. If you've lost a loved one, you know, going through these holiday seasons, it's just really, really hard to pull it together. But a grief can affect your health. Unfortunately, I have a funeral tomorrow. Uh, the next one is the benefits of intimate fasting. We talked about that as well. The, if you knew the benefits of intimate fasting, giving your body a total rest mm -hmm. of everything, your body can heal itself. We also talked about domestic violence this year. The numbers are extremely high. Uh, the, uh, another one out of the blue that we pulled up was syphilis. We talked about syphilis this year. Would have never even thought about that one either but those numbers are on the mm. on the rise how toxins are ruining your health toxins family we talk about that every wednesday where are all these toxins coming from why are so many people dying from cancer and all of these crazy diseases just just popping up so these are just some of the things that we talked about breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, diabetes, arthritis, just aging well, high blood pressure. We talked about asthma. We talked about snoring and sleep apnea. If you missed it, you missed it. <laughs> we also <laughs> talked about mucus, mucus, knowing your numbers. Mm -hmm. We talked about the Transform 90, how you can change your body in 90 days. We talked about glaucoma, vertigo, autism, uh, uh, also, constipation, menopause, fibroids, osteoporosis, allergies, obesity, sugar. We're going to bring sugar back for January. But stress and exercise, sickle cell anemia, we even talked about. Miss Janice Robinson, she popped mm -hmm. in and filled in for me, and she did a segment on dehydration. How dehydrated are you? I also talked about detoxing your lymphatic system. 
you looking to get healthy and lose some weight, you got to go after your lymphatic system. That's where everything starts. Mm -hmm. We also talked about parasites, how they're living off of you on the inside, eating you up. Parasites. Parasites. We also talked about uh, erectile dysfunction. We also talked about stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And we were just we just watched that movie this past weekend by Michelle and Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Produced they yeah. produced this movie. Uh, what was the name of it? it Leave the leave, World yeah. Behind. Leave the World Behind. If you haven't you seen gotta that, watch you got to watch it. Stay ready so All you right. don't have Definitely, to get ready. Please watch the Netflix You're going to hear what I said okay. in that movie. <laughs> stay ready so you don't have to get ready. It's going to have you thinking. Gonna have you Big shopping time. too. <laughs> Go run out and get a few things. <laughs> but watch that movie if you haven't seen it. It's called Leave the World Behind. It's trying to tell produced you something. by Michelle and Barack Obama. I don't know if they're trying to send us a message or tell us a little something subliminally. Watch the movie and mm -hmm. see for yourself. Okay, so that's what we had for 2023. So what we want to do now, I just want to, um, we were talking this morning, we just have to do a little more in 2024. That's the slide. I mean, if everybody was just so sickly and, you know, people are just tired of being sick and tired, tired of doing the same thing over and over on that rat reel, a rat wheel, don't you want to do something different? Step out of that comfort zone, try something different. So that's what we talked about. So there's two ways to motivate yourself that you can fear the consequences of not taking action or you can get excited about the rewards and the benefits of being proactive. Mm -hmm. Can't celebrate it if you don't do it, right? Exactly. Let's get about doing your business. So if you've been on that hamster wheel all this year or half the year or however long you may have been on it, make 2024, you plan to do more because that's the slogan this year, I mean, going into 24. Take that initiative and step off that wheel. Just step off. You may stumble. You may fall on your knees. You may fall on your face, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Turn around, look up, get up, and keep it moving. There you go. But you stepped off that wheel. You conquered that fear. Don't get back on it. Step off of it and don't get back. Don't even, don't even turn around and look back at the wheel. Just keep moving forward. That's it. And trust and believe better things are coming. And that's what the next one said. Your biggest reward in life are found outside of your comfort zone. See? Get out of there. That's the wheel. The comfort zone is the wheel. You have been in there all this time. Get, get out. out. Get the heck up out of there. You're you, going to be just fine. You Watch. did that already. Let's try something mm -hmm. different. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to 2024. So it also states that your habits will determine the quality of life. There was a mm -hmm. speaker. I couldn't even think of his name this morning, but he said, if you tell me your habits, I can tell you how much <laughs> money you're making. Or where are you going to go? Or are you going to be successful? Oh, success you Your have. habits are going to tell you everything. Are you doing mm -hmm. the same thing every single day? Have you tried something different? Have you jumped out of that box? Mm -hmm. Let's just try something different for 2024. Successful people do have successful habits. Unsuccessful people don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now I was telling them this morning, I'm ordering these today. The 100 envelope saving challenge. I'm getting one for everybody in our household. I asked everybody, what's your favorite color? Because they're going to get it in their favorite color. Correct. What this is, it's a little pamphlet. It looks not big. It's, as... a little, it's a little bigger than this. Yeah, it looks like that. It's about that size. About maybe. that size. Mm -hmm. And it's an envelope. It's a little booklet that has 100 a slots, 100 pockets in it. And in those 100 pockets, it's from a 1 to a 100. And every so often, if you get some extra money, put it in that pocket. The designated pocket. Exactly. You might have a pocket for ten dollars. You got a pocket for, for twenty, 20 dollars. You got a pocket for one. Dollars. You got a pocket mm -hmm. for eighty nine dollars. Oh, Mr. Laverne Jackson. Awesome. You got I one. Have there one. you go. Awesome. But this is a challenge. I mm -hmm. think everybody should jump in for twenty twenty. Miss Austin, if you can and you do have it, uh, when we, yeah, when we open up, put it up so people can see right, it. Exactly. Open up your camera so they can see what it but looks like. But everybody's getting one i'm ordering them today everybody's getting yeah. one all of the grandkids are getting one and we're going to make this a challenge if you it? fill that mm -hmm. book you will have five thousand dollars and five thousand and fifty five dollars if you fill that book that's going to be great for the grandkids yes but if you can do it as as short as you want or you can take all year to fill it 
Mm -hmm. It's up to you, but it's a challenge, a challenge you've never done before. And it can help you save. So that's a way for everybody just to put a little way, a little something by the end of the year and don't awesome, touch Jackson. it. Just don't that's touch it. That's the key. It. Don't touch it, no matter how bad Absolutely. things may get. Because you know how what happens. You start saving a little something, something, then something happens. You got to discipline yourself. I know where I can get it. I know what I can get. It. Don't. <laughs> don't even think about it being in there. But just get it done within that year. And that's 5,000 plus that you'll have for investing, you know, to put a down payment towards a home or apartment, whatever. But that it's 5, your goal. That 5,000 can something. go towards so many yeah, different so many things. things. It could be your next Christmas. Yeah, it could, it could be, be a, that. A down payment on a car, a down mm -hmm. payment on a house. Or, or you can move. Save or it again for the next year. There you go. Another, another five. Just keep it going. You keep don't have to stop going. it. Just keep it going. And it comes with a little calendar right. inside. So whatever money you put in, that's the little thing that you'll blot out. They're on Amazon. They're $18 yeah. on Amazon. They come in all different colors. Get one for everybody in your family. I, I just think these things are adorable. Indeed, indeed. So it says, remember, nothing changes until you, you do. Mm -hmm. There you go, family. And today is the day that you are meant to be alive. That's what I say. If you're blinking and breathing today, you are blessed to be here. So That's somebody the didn't wake given. up. Exactly. That's the gift somebody you were didn't wake up this morning. Yeah. So you are a, a present. You are a treasure mm -hmm. to be here. So the next one was, let me see. Now is the inheritance that is yours to spend. Think about that. Wasn't mm -hmm. that good? Now is the inheritance that is yours to spend. This is what our parents left us. Mm -hmm. Everything that we got instilled in us, all those little crazy habits that you done picked up from your mom, those are inheritance. You got them, whether you wanted them or not, they're yours. That's right. <laughs> it just is what it is. Okay. Who is oh, that? Yeah, we're going to, uh, once we uh, get into the conversation, okay, we're we'll going to open, yeah, we're gonna open it camera, up. Just lift it up. You can show it. We'll be able to see it, hopefully, through your camera. Okay, there was something else, too, that I watched yesterday. There was a little short uh, video. I was trying to catch it. Me and Reggie were trying to find yeah. it last night. It says that we are not wired to multitask. Take this into consideration, family. This is serious. We are not wired to multitask. We are here to do one thing at a time. And complete it. One thing at mm -hmm. a time. It says to keep one program running at a time. That's why people just lose their mind. They get, you get overwhelmed with things. Mm -hmm. Finish one thing before you start something else. And it says the, the more we multitask, the shorter our attention spans become. Think about that. They mm -hmm. said a goldfish attention span is longer than a, a human's. <laughs> <laughs> and it's serious. But they say if you want to keep your memory sharp, find something to do with your hands. Mm -hmm. Get crafty with your hands, uh, crochet with your hands, um, mind uh, games, mind games, do things that's going to have you to think those we, things are going to keep you sharp. We have these metal, uh, bendable, uh, bend, bend, uh, metal objects that oh, we the have, puzzles? the puzzle pieces, the oh, metal you bought those to up. figure it out. It, it's just, it's, it's brain work. It's they like nails, the nails and you got to take it loose and take them all loose in different ways. It's, it's, it really has you thinking. It keeps oh, the mind it, sharp. Mm. Because sometimes you can get puzzles, it and metal sometimes puzzles. you can't. That's what they're called, metal puzzles. And I love to figure things out. They That's are. Nice. Where do we get those? We got Liberty them from Science, Liberty Science Center. Liberty yeah. Science Center. We're always finding something crazy to and keep the kids busy. Mm -hmm. And the other and thing I wanted busy. to share, exactly. <laughs> there, I'm reading this book here. I'm going to start it over because I didn't finish that it. 1440? 1440. Mm -hmm. This is next year, 2024. I am going to read a book a, a month. A book a month. That's that's my goal mm -hmm. for 2024. I started some books, but I'll get halfway through it. And I was just going through them. I, and going all I over different books, books and books. Book and book. I do that. I'll multitask. I'll be reading five books at one time. Mm -hmm. That's just me. But you can't multitask because you'll never finish. finish. So I got to stick. I'm talking to me too, family. Mm -hmm. Got to stick to one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So the book I'm reading is called 1440. I'm all right, Mr. Genevieve. She I'm, ordered hers now. What, the little book? Uh -huh. <laughs> 1440. It's on my tablet. I don't know if y'all can see it. But this book it. here, it's called Making the Most of Every Minute of Your Day. So you know what the 1440 represents? That means, what is it, Red? It's 1,440 minutes in a, in day. a day. In one day. 
That's what that is. 1440. 1440. What are you doing with your 1440? Yes. Reggie always say we all get the same 24 hours in a day. You're it's how you spend mm -hmm. your 24 hours. Nobody gets 25. Nobody nope. gets 23. We all get, all get 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. It's 1440 minutes in a day. Did you stop to take 30 seconds to say thank you, God, for this morning? See? Thank you for waking me up. It doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything just to say thank you to the Lord. When you put both feet, when you put one foot on the floor, let's thank the other foot is you. Thank you, <laughs> Lord, for waking me up. That's how I do it. But anyway, it's 1440 minutes in a day. Mm -hmm. 99% of your life is just showing up, just showing up. Nobody can do this, but you, I mean, you, if it's up to you to make it or it's up to you to break it, you can make your day, whatever you want it to be. Yeah. It's going to be some obstacles in there, but you got to keep going. And today is all we got. The, the past is gone. The future isn't here yet. So we're living in the now. This is all the time we have is right now. Mm. There's another book called The Power of Now. It's by Eckhart Tolle. I got his other book here, The New, the New Earth, Awakening mm -hmm. Your Life's Purpose. That's a good one, too, because he talks about getting your ego out the way. Mm -hmm. But that's what this is, is we're living in the now. So by all of the things that we talked about this year, and we were talking about um, what they say, we get so many summers a year. And we're down to certain people are down to like 10 summers. Well, it, it if you look how many at it like you've that. Lived and how many years they expect you to live, you know, where you are from right now. So it talks about you got less summers in front of you than you do behind you now. Right. You know, the less less seasons in front of you than they are behind you. So, But if you think you about life it? like that, yeah. you will get about living. <laughs> you will mm. get on with doing what Look you want to do. Look how fast this year flew by. Then this year is gone already. But that's why I was saying we got mm. more time behind us than it's we have in right. front of us. We got 61 years behind us. How much more do we have in front of us? Right. It's time to live your best life, family. Get out there and do what you want to do. So now this is the time where you can just open up the lines. I like to hear from everybody. Miss Laverne, I want to show you the book. Yeah. It's called 100 Envelope Savings Challenge. Yeah, Miss Laverne. Mine is, is a, a, uh, 52 uh, weeks. And I'm the hundreds mm -hmm. coming. Yeah, she, it's off right How now. How do I show it? Let's see. see I got to get, I got to get, I got to get seven of them. Yeah, we got to get seven of <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. Because so everybody's I, getting right. one. How do you so, show it? I'm trying to figure it out. Sake, I didn't get a chance to say this to all of you that's connected, you know, how much that we appreciate your support that you've been giving Absolutely. us on this platform Awareness Wednesday. You guys truly, truly don't understand how much you make it worth it just being able to do this every week. Um, giving us that reason to get connected, to share good information, just to knowing that you, 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 you're listening to something that's really good that Victoria puts together every week and applauding her for the work and due diligence. I mean, she has a, a plethora of different notes and binders of all the research that she's put I in. I have no idea. <laughs> a lot of work. And, you know, she does it because she loves the research. She's that urgent, true urgent. And she brings it to all of us and free information, which is a great thing that she does it from the heart. So, and we want to say thank you guys. Really, really want to thank you for 2023. How awesome you guys are. And I know that 2024 is going to be even better. Because you know we have you know, some goals in there again. Mm -hmm. It's going to be different, you know. Because I know all of you set goals in 2023 in January, what you were going to do, what you're going to accomplish, and I know a lot of you didn't hit your goals. A lot of you didn't hit what you said you were going to hit or do what you said you're going to do in 23, and that's okay. But we got to go about it different this time, going in 24. Mm -hmm. We got to go about it different. If you're going to set it, make sure you get it. Don't stop until it's done. Like she mentioned, don't try to do more than one at one time. Mm -hmm. Take that one goal and conquer it. Finish the, uh, it. Wealthy people talk about, do you have six months worth of savings? So whatever your salary may be, do you have six months saved of that salary? That's why you need that little book. And that, that talks about that. You know, <laughs> you and, and wealthy book. people talk about that. That's where the mindset and headspace needs to be. So mm -hmm. no matter what, if anything ever happens, you're prepared. Are you prepared? Are you in formation? Uh, uh, to make sure that you are in line to get the things done the way you want to get it done. Mm -hmm. Are we there? 52 weeks out. Absolutely. So there you go. You got to be ready. So you want to get ready. 
You have to be. So again, I just want to say thank you guys. Let's get Absolutely. started at 630. Absolutely. I want to give you guys a chance. Miss Jackson, your mic is open. Your camera is open. Thank you so much for sharing. Let me put us on gallery for a minute so I can see. Where are you, Miss uh, Where are you? There she is right there. There you are. There she is. All right. Yeah, yeah we, we just saw the image for a minute. They just disappeared. <laughs> I know, you popped in and popped out. <laughs> unmute yourself, Miss Jackson. You can unmute yourself. You can unmute yourself. Come on, Miss Laverne, unmute. Oh, wait a minute. Did I give you guys the opportunity to unmute? I think I did. Did well, you? I think so. Make sure. Yep, you guys Yeah, I'm unmute, but go, it Jackson. won't show the book. What color is yours? Yeah, what color do you have? I can't hear you now. You, you can't muted hear yourself. you. You muted yourself back. Mine is go. a white, a kind of like a white color. It says 52 Week Saving Challenge. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Oh, Hold yeah. On. I can't hear you now. <laughs> okay, yeah. there you go. She can't hear us now. She will in a minute. There you go. I can hear you now, but I don't know why I can't show the picture. It, it was. Do it again. Go pick, yeah, pop it, it up. Oh, she can have a close your background. Okay. Yeah. Okay, take it off. Uh, how do you take it off? Well, anyway, I shared it on your page. Oh, and what's that? <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Because that's I great. couldn't I couldn't figure out how to take the virtual background off. It takes a minute for me to figure that out. All right, don't worry about <laughs> but that. I wanna I wanna put that out there for everybody. I mean, the kids are always doing these crazy challenges. This is a challenge we're gonna throw out in our age group. Let's let's challenge people to start saving, <laughs> you know, putting something aside for a rainy day. So that's a challenge that we would like to start. So we're going to start it with us and our family and hope it can catch on to yours and your family. So thank you, Miss Laverne Jackson. Put it in the WhatsApp so we can share it she with did. everybody. She she did. That's Very good. Right. Now they have many different ones, so you can get as many as you want of different savings. But yeah. I just caught my eye, so I started with this one. Very okay, good. very there good. Go. And what is yours called? It's not the 100 challenge? It says 52 week saving challenge. It starts with uh, week one, Two dollars week two, three dollars week four, like three four. Oh, okay. You got the other one. That's the one that was in um. What? Uh, what's the book that we had? What's the book that we gave to Brit? Yeah, I'm going to order oh, the other oh, one too. The slight, edge. The slight edge. edge. Yeah, that one is something like the slight edge. Yeah. So I'm, a, I'm like going to get like the other the one too. Right, like the pennies. Yeah, you they're very inexpensive, pennies. so they're very nice. Yeah. yeah, they're not expensive. So you can get no. those out as well, family. Mm -hmm. They're under $20. And they would make an ideal gift for the holidays. It really would. So is anybody else would like to share anything with the Flanagans yeah, in our cafe? Right. Let's have some conversation now. All right. Who like to Yeah, I want to share something real quick. Go ahead, Ms. Jackson. Sure. Hang on, take Today, it away. You got your, you got your well, cup of coffee? Christmas at the senior citizen, where I go there like three times a week. Right. And um, we had these little sample packs of coffee. You know, I made them myself. Mm -hmm. And so I passed them out to some of the people there with peppermints. And I got two orders. They All said, right. hey, Good I job. like that coffee. You know, so they want more coffee. So I'm giving out, every time I can get some, give them out because it's just one cup full. And they love, those seniors love coffee. Yes. And, you know, this is healthy. But when you say healthy coffee, they say, ooh, you know. But when they <laughs> pour that hot water in that cup and taste that coffee, and yet one lady says, I need to talk to you. uh-oh, what did I do? She said, <laughs> how much is that coffee? I want that coffee. So that was really good because now they like the coffee. So I just want to share that. That's just good. use the sample package for the holiday. Very good. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Very, very Thank good. You. Anybody else? All right. Who want to open up their mic and have some conversation? Galaxy eight eleven a eleven. You unmuted yourself, Galaxy. Not sure whom that might be. Galaxy A eleven. Oh, was that an error? Unmuted by mistake. All right, come on, family. Let's get some people speaking. Let's get some of our partners talking. Come on, I want to hear from you guys. How was twenty three uh, for you? Did you accomplish your goals this year? Uh, what are some you want to do different, you know, going into the 2024? What are some ambitions that you may have? Some of, the, some of those things you want can to attack. You, can you hear me? This is um, Galaxy 911. Hey, okay. Galaxy 911. Yes, we can. Go ahead. What's your name? This is, this is Anna Archibald. How are okay. you? Hey, hey Ms. Anna. Anna. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I thank you for all the advice you have been giving me. 
my husband died um, a year and four months ago, and um, I went out for Christmas Day to um, a friend's house and made dinner, and it was oh, a beautiful good. standing getting out of the house. Okay, so I'm just getting taking out in the bell. Yes, I have a, a lot of I have a lot of things to work on. Okay. One so one honey, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Day to, You're welcome. Thank you, very Yeah, I listened this morning I didn't even get to listen to you. I went to get my hair done. And because I haven't done for a while, like about three months, mm -hmm. so it was it was able to get it done before the new year. So I, I'm I'm trying. It's okay. hard. And, doing, and you're my, doing good. Just you're doing good. Keep trying. Keep trying. That's all we can do is just keep it moving. Absolutely. I'm glad Thank you're you always much. there. Always there. Yes, and I listen to you every Wednesday morning. I try. And um, sometimes I try to come on also Wednesday night. So thank you. Yes, thank you for sharing. Love to have you. Yeah, love to have definitely you. would love to have you. Good, good family. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? I see Yolanda on uh, Facebook. She said her goal is to eat less, live my best life. Excellent point. I hear you. To eat less. I think we all want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> eat less, exercise, move more. Movement is medicine. Drink your water and we have to rest, family. You have to rest so you can be your best for 2024. So get your rest in there. Miss Promise Campbell, are you raising your hand over there? Yes, she is. Yes, I, am. Yeah. I just want to speak so I can put in my 20 cents. <laughs> 25 cents. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going on up. <laughs> All right. I just want to say thank you so much. You guys have been very, very important in this our all this life journey. The information that you share, it goes a long way. Somebody like me that is shy, I'm still shy, but hey. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you see, I'm looking at that's the look saying, yeah, right. <laughs> Clutch my pearls. What? <laughs> I'm shy, but I'm making it happen. I'm doing a sheer. I mean, shy. You know, I'm a shy person. I'm scared to speak, but. Either way, somebody has to do it. And you guys have made it easier for us to be able to just mess up until you get it right. There you go. That's what exactly. we're doing. That's All it. Right? Thank nobody you. knows you. Nobody knows you're messing up and you have stepped out of your comfort zone. So welcome to the other side of your comfort Indeed. zone. <laughs> that's it. That was that's one where all the fun is. is on the other side of the comfort zone. It you is really fun. Step out. There you go. What is life, family? Thank you, everyone. But all this information we get, let's do something with it. With it, exactly. What are you doing with the information? Do something so we can talk about it in 2024. What there is you that on this year? What did you do with it? Let's talk about it. Thank let's you so much. About it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, too. That's it. Who else do we have, family? Who else do we have? Who else do we have that want to speak? Y'all better speak up. I'm going to start showing y'all all my books over here. Somebody speak up. Hurry up quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Who else do we have? We'd we'll love to hear some, some more uh, info. Come on, guys. It's coffee and conversation. We can't yeah. drink coffee and have a conversation Myself. with ourselves. This is for you. Come on. Let's okay. Hear here's I'm going to share some books. Go ahead. Here's a book by Joyce Meyer. She's a minister. Change your words, change your life. Started reading, didn't finish it. Got to get back to that one. Here's another book, Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth, Awakening Your Life Purpose. I read that one. I read it twice. This is about your ego, getting your ego out of the way. Love that one. This is a book I got. I started it, didn't yeah. finish that one either. This is mm -hmm. Unshakable by Tony Robbins. You want to read the great stuff, how they did it, family. You want to follow those. What the sake statement we always saying? You are a direct sum of the people that you hang and around the and the read. books that you read. So if you want to go somewhere, hang around somebody that's doing something. 
for real. The next one I have is The Power of Focus. This is a really good book, family. This is uh, Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen. Those two are from the movie The Secret. This is The Power of Focus. And he talks about focusing on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't get stressed out. Don't go flipping out. Finish one thing before you start something else. It's not hocus pocus. It's focus. <laughs> so finish the book. There's a nut one. I talked about this one this morning. I love this guy. His name is Mike Bayer. He's always on Dr. Phil. Well, Dr. Phil is off the off the air now for the season, but yeah. his name is Mike Bear. That's what he looked like. He was a, a junkie, a drug addict. He was way out there, but he got himself together and now he is a life coach. And this is your best self, be you, but only better. Right. When I tell you this is a good book to have you check in yourself, you look at yourself in the mirror and go, damn, did I do that? <laughs> It will have you check in yourself, but this is a very, very good book. Mm -hmm. Best Self by Michael Bear. Really, really good book. And this is another one. I read this book a long time ago, but it's just one of those, those little keepers. This is Hanging with Winners. And this gentleman here, his name is Ron Cole, and he talked to some of the greats. He talked to George Stephanopoulos. He talked to Peter Jennings, Ted Koppel, David Muir, Robin Roberts, Diane Sawyer, Barbara Walters. And this, he was talk, hanging with winners. So you got the, he, all these little conversations are in here on winners, how they got to be winners, how each other helped each other out, get to where they are. Mm -hmm. David Muir, uh, Barbara Walters mentored him for years. And look where David Muir is. ABC News at 630 every single day. Barbara Walters helped him get to that uh, area. Then you got Robin Roberts. She doesn't help so many people come up the ladder. Hanging with winners. You want to be a winner? Get around some winners. You know, we're hanging with a bunch of winners right now. All you That's guys what I'm connected. saying. You so got to keep it moving. We're hanging with winners here, and I like the fact that we're hanging with winners. So, hello, winners. So, <laughs> this is my book of big questions. Does anybody have any questions before I throw a question at you? And just give you something to think about. Thought-provoking questions? Thought-provoking questions. I bought this up a long time ago. Me and Pastor Vanessa can talk about this book forever. <laughs> but it was, it's just little questions that I have you just thinking about things in life. The first one that I really, really like that I, I just throw that out to everybody. If you made, if you had all the money that you could possibly have, what would you be doing? Hmm. What would you be doing if money was not a factor? You got you, your your bank account is full, both sides of the street. What would you be doing? Mm -hmm. Think about that. What are some of the things that you regret not doing for twenty twenty three? There's a there's a there's a one. Are you, gonna, you. are you gonna get it done in twenty four? Mm -hmm. When are you your happiest? Think yes. about that because people don't even know what makes them happy anymore. When are you at your happiest? Think about that. What are your greatest strengths? Oh, look. Oh, okay, okay. What's it's okay, Miss Brown. We can get you on. Oh, oh no, yeah, you better, you better jump right good. on in here. Indeed. <laughs> what, are, what are your <laughs> we'll greatest strengths? Everybody has something that they're good at. What is yours? Have you found it yet? So many people don't even know what they like to do. Correct. You know, this dating pool that's out here with this, this marketing and just trying to get people together. You got all this, this, what you call this dating online and all this stuff. People don't even know what they want. Ladies, you got to have your stuff together because the guys, I don't know. You got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready all the time <laughs> for everything. And here's a, a good one. How have you been to others in 2023? If karma, we all know karma, if karma was coming back to you, is it going to help you or is it going to hurt you? Think about that. Correct. How many people have you, you talked bad about or you ran over or you mistreated in 2023? 
that karma's gonna come back. Karma don't forget an address. Sure don't. So you keep doing dirt out there, trust and believe you're gonna get some of that back. <laughs> so you might as well do good. You just might as well. What matters to you most in your life? Think about that one. Come on, family. What mm -hmm. is it? What else you got there? What currently brings you a real sense of joy? Who goes, is that? K hey, Mr. Kev. Go ahead, Mr. Kev. Come you on. want to speak, brother? How are you? I'm good. It's my health is more important to me right now. That's right. It should be right uh -huh. there in the uh -huh. top three. Number one. Yes. And the most important thing to me is my children and trying to get everything in order. There you go. I'm sorry I did not join this business earlier. <laughs> you still working. got time? You're here now. That's I'm right. I'm working hard and I'm trying, but I have no job right now. So well, I'm, work your business. Work your business. And work you know, your business. one thing I want you to stop saying, I want you to stop saying I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Change you your vocabulary. Like change, change the thought process and say I will. Not that I'm okay. trying. I will get this done. Mm -hmm. uh, I will. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, under, I'm under construction. There you go. Uh, you know what? You know, I'm I'm temporarily out of cash. You know, use those kind change of mindset. Your words. Change your words. That's the thoughts, book I just said. Thoughts change your words. Things. Words uh -huh. have power. So trying is just like saying no, because you can't, you can either sit down or stand up. You can't try to stand up. You can't try to sit down. You can only do one or the other. Oh, that's right. Okay. So you just change Thank that thought process. All right, champion? And stay engaged. Anytime you see a segment come on, just stay get engaged because you're going to get a little something that's going to plug you into something else. Just Absolutely. stay engaged. Stay engaged. Yes, I do. And I appreciate you. And I love what you do. I get a lot of information from it. It good helps. Good. good, good, good. Awesome. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Miss Brown, did you want to come in now and speak? I don't know why. I know why you can't see them. I'm not sure why, but if you're can able to unmute? unmute yourself, let's see if you can do that. Oh, a dream picket. You're on there, Miss. Are oh, you able to unmute yourself? Let me see. Let's send your message to unmute. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not for some reason it's not showing up on the phone. There you go, Miss Brown. You're unmuted. Go ahead, Champ. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome. How are you? We are, we are awesome. good. I don't know why you didn't get my private message. Um, uh, kind of in listen mode, but I just wanted to say, um, thank you both for all that you do, not only for uh the company, but for all of us. Oh. And 2024 is going to be epic. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> uh, my we're going to get too. moving and we're going to keep it moving until momentum follows. That's right. So we appreciate you both so, so much. And again, up. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it just popped up. It sure did. It just popped up. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Miss Brown. Hey, I might be messing with it. <laughs> Maybe, or I said, you know what? Let me let her come on live and say it before I read it. So there you go. <laughs> okay, who is somebody else is unable to speak? What well, that just popped in down let me there? See, let me see. Thank you, Miss Brown. We surely appreciate you. You know that. Absolutely, Miss Brown. Absolutely. And welcome to the Fantastic Four group. Okay, no problem, Miss Judith. No problem. We understand. Who is that, Miss Judith? <laughs> yeah, Thank yes. you. Yes, okay. So, no problem. Where's Miss Judith? All right. So again, Over thank here. you, Miss Brown. I appreciate it. Now she's she's in something right now. She okay. can't speak right now, but she would like. To. Okay. Who else do we have that want to speak? Anyone else that want to share a thought? I got it? another question for you. When was Go the ahead, last sir. time you paid something forward? <laughs> How about that? Have you purchased somebody groceries as high as groceries are? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got somebody a $5 worth of gas? Gas is down. You can help somebody out with some gas. When was the last thing you paid forward? It's a good question. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Hello. Go ahead, Hello. Go ahead. Good afternoon. Good evening. Yes, evening. Uh -uh. Who's Hello. That? Oh, oh, two people talking at all right, the same we'll time. We'll get Miss Genevieve and we're getting Miss. Sosa, we'll get you next. All right, Ms. Sosa? So Genevieve first. Go ahead, Ms. Genevieve. No problem. All right, Jamie. Good evening, everyone. Yes, I have a tendency of paying it forward. Okay. Uh, I, 
I've learned from this young lady. She said that um, she had a couple of deaths in the family for the year and she was paying it forward uh, for them. So I did the same thing because I lost a couple of family members too. So I did that. And I've done that for a couple of um, older ladies that was in the grocery store and looking for that last dollar. Oh, don't worry about it. I got it. Um, mm -hmm. I've also done that in the fast food for an uh, older person. So that's something I don't mind doing because it it's it's I don't know I don't know whether it, I look it like it or what but a couple back to you. Well, yeah. a couple of, but a few times people have just done it. That's okay. I got it. So mm -hmm. you know it it makes you feel good. So uh, but I do have one more. Good. I do have one more. I have okay. one more. Yes. I have one more to do before the end of the year. So okay. that'll okay. get done. Good. Good. And so that, thank you, you just brought to, that to my intention. I just did it the other day and not even thinking about it. You know, that it was a young man. I went to the store. I think it was the other day I went to play the picket and I, the gentleman was standing in the store and he bought some laundry detergent and he didn't have enough. He needed a dollar 20 more. And the guy was saying, no, that's the wrong thing. That's on the ticket. He said, you don't have enough. And he just looked around like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I was like, I got it. And I gave him the $2 and I ain't even look back. But you just do it just because. Mm -hmm. And didn't even, right. I didn't even think about it until you just said something. And I did the so same. always right. pay mm -hmm. something forward, family. You never know yeah. that you you helping somebody out. You and just then, like I know. said, this, this lady, she was doing it out of respect for the uh, people that she that she lost in her family so i said oh you know that's a good idea yeah mm -hmm. that that's that's contributing to you know in honor of the person that you lost in the family so yeah, you never know yeah. what somebody yeah. is going through yeah because I, right. um, I was in west orange on my way home i stopped off every once in a while we'll do a chipotle veggie bowl and I stopped off at uh, one of the locations in West Orange and outside of the uh, establishment was this elderly uh, man. And you can see he, he could hardly walk. He was sitting on the ground, but he had a sign, you know, can you please help me? He didn't say what. So I'm watching from my car, just watching people walk past, walk past, look at him, just keep walking past. And I was asked for something, for a little help. So I got out of my car and I started walking towards the establishment. I looked at the sign. He said, all I'm asking for something to eat. That's what the bottom of the sign mm. said. Mm. So when I came out, I had a second bowl. I bought three bowls, one for myself, one for Victoria, and I bought one for him. And I had them put extra on it. And I gave that to him. The man just broke down right there. You never you know never what somebody know. is going through, never family. Know. Times are hard. It's yeah. not that easy never for know. everybody. It's just not. And you don't know that. Just a smile to somebody, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it could be. Just like the young man, he, yeah. like, how could I wash my clothes? Who knew? He could have had a job interview and had right. to go wash his know. shirt. Mm -hmm. So you never know what somebody is going through. Yeah. So just help out when you can. Just pay it forward. I got that from Shaq, a mm -hmm. big Shaq basketball player. He said that his mom taught him to do that. Whenever you can pay it forward, pay it forward. Because you'll never know when you're going to get that back. That's karma. Mm -hmm. Karma's coming back to you in any yeah. way you look at it. You put out good, you're going to get good. You put out bad, <laughs> you're going to get bad. So just remember to pay something forward when you can. Don't go out your way if you don't have to, but if you got a little something extra, just help out your, your fellow man. And they would really, really appreciate it. Okay, Miss Sosa, you were up up yeah, there. Yeah, go ahead, Miss Ebenezer. Miss Sosa. Unmute, babe. Unmute yourself. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, we, we can. Sure can. Hey, champion. You uh, okay, so you sorry, my phone decided to not to do anything. It just turned off on me. <laughs> I see you driving. You well, be good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, like everybody has said, thank you so much for all that you've done this year. You're always there. And sometimes when you came on your you're not at home, you still manage uh to to do your calls um every Wednesday so we do really appreciate I do really appreciate everything that you've done because uh, I've learned a lot I definitely <laughs> I learned a you lot don't miss a, you don't miss a Wednesday <laughs> I love no it. I try not to miss and if in case I do believe me I go to the recording and I'm like 
Oh my gosh, I, I missed it. And this was a good one. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, that pain and forward, uh, uh, a few years ago, I took a test, uh, like, a, like, a, um, like a spiritual test. And it says that, uh, what was your gift or your talent? Well, actually more like a gift because God gives you those gifts. And my gift was uh, a giver. And, and I've done this as long as I remember. Uh, I've always been giving. I'm a giver. I've always give, give, give. I do it without expecting nothing really in return. Right. I, I really don't. I don't care who it is. I mean, sometimes, uh, and this is how I, how I know that the Lord is the one that's speaking to me. Because when I feel that, that like a uh, very uh, strong urge inside of me, uh, that is, uh, it's not just my head, you know, saying give to them or pay or whatever, you know, uh, it's just something inside of me that says, help them out, help them out. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes we are like, uh, no, <laughs> no, this is just my head, but don't ever, ever underestimate that feeling or that thought that comes to your head. Because if, when you were just walking you didn't, you, you were not thinking, oh, I'm going to help. Okay. That's from you. But if just suddenly it comes through your head, mm -hmm. that's the Lord speaking. So do not, do not fight it. Do what the Lord is telling you. Look what I uh, do, what your, your, your head or your gut is telling you. Do it. Help, help. And you just don't know, like as Genevieve said, it's better to give. Really, you get that satisfaction, like, it's a it's an indescribable feeling that it's you that you yeah. yes it's an indescribable feeling because why because you you were you were obedient mm -hmm. and that's that that's the feeling God gives in you the Holy Spirit gives you when you give when you when you are an obedient child mm -hmm. so let's just keep on giving and give it doesn't have to be money it can be time. And uh, and God has been talking to me, and uh, I've been helping one of my friends that she's going through through a lot. She lost her mom last year, and her mom was like her big supporter, big mm -hmm. supporter. And uh, so I am I am doing my best to to help her out and just keep her on your prayers. I don't really want to make it up. It's just, okay. You know, it's okay. Let, let just thank God you know who this is. Right. Follow you. So mind. let's uh be careful. Let's keep her on uh, on our prayers and and if you feel like you need to give, just give. Don't right. don't don't stop it because those are blessings and God will reward and he knows how to work. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Very it. good. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a happy, happy new year. Thank you, Miss Nelly. Seeing all of you and yes. My friends, long time. If you see something different, in life, do that here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We lost you at the back end of that. We yeah, missed a you were getting bit. a little choppy toward yeah. the end. No but problem. we got you, Miss Nelly. Always being on time, always here on time. So she has learned a lot, family. She mm -hmm. does not miss mm -hmm. a Wednesday, and she will let us know. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> and, but that's what this platform is about, just to make you aware. That's all. It's not to to you know press upon to to um impress upon you. It's just to, for you to just wake up. I mean, right. just truly, right. truly wake up. Because the industries, the industries that's out there have been lying to us for so long. We truly, truly have to wake up. And now it's, I think it's coming to the forefront because now you see a little bit everywhere. You know, this is coming out. That's coming out. Don't eat this and don't eat that. It's, it's coming from everywhere right, now. Right. So we're just here to keep you aware of what is going on. So just stay tuned. Stay tuned. What you got? Okay. I oh, know we got, we got. Okay. All right. This kid, you unmuted up there. Yes, I am. Can you hear yes, me? You, yes, yes, we can. We can. Bring ahead. it, Coach. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. This has been a 
uh, a great year for Awareness Wednesday, 2023, and all the years preceding 2023. I know as uh, just being on these calls, uh, it's really uh, awakened me, uh, really uh, uh, helped me get back on track when I've gotten back on track. I, sometimes I'm laughing when I'm on the call, especially in the, in the morning, because as <laughs> Queen is talking and right. I'm checking myself, oh, wow, okay, I didn't do that. And so I'm running, maybe I hadn't taken my memory charge for, she, she's talking about that or she's talking about something else. I find myself running to my cabinets and getting the things that she hasn't, that she's mentioning and getting back on track of it. So I really thank you for being another reminder of the things that I'm not doing consistently to get me back on track. So that's what uh, awareness has been for me uh, for a long time. And then also just uh, my my education with the reading and searching. You got me, do you know that you got me on Netflix? You got me paying enough, another monthly bill. Yes, you did. <laughs> going back all the way to, uh, you but know. But that's personal uh, development. That's a good thing. That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, but you know, uh, but yeah, because I had to watch what the hell, you know? Yes. yes. Yeah. And so that's when, okay, what's Netflix? I had to really look into what, what that was and, and, and got that. So you have really opened up my eyes and my understanding on a lot of different things. Also, not just for 2023, uh, you know, going to IIN, becoming mm -hmm. a certified health coach. I got to give it to you. So whenever Aww. you feel doubt or really, you know, oh, we're not reaching the people. Oh, does is anybody hearing us? Don't you dare doubt yourself. Because, baby, y'all bring it. Y'all bring <laughs> it. In the morning, y'all bring it. Awareness Wednesday. And you know what? I am so happy to hear that you are taking it to a next level. And now you're you're expanding your reach on YouTube, I can see that blowing up. So that is just phenomenal. So you guys, if you haven't already subscribed to their channel on YouTube, you want to make sure you add that because that's where you can get it 24 seven. And we definitely right. want to help them uh, elevate and get the word out about not only their knowledge and everything in the health field, but also on the artists like products that they share as well. So I really do appreciate everything you do. I really, I really do. And thank you for just shining, not only here this year, but for in prior years. And for oh. 2024, what's been on my mind heavily is, yeah, 2024 demands more, yeah. you know, uh, demands overall more. I've got to be uh, more diligent in getting my proper rest. You yeah. know, that's a requirement. So I'm shutting down. I am shutting you have down. To do it. Have and to do uh, it. yeah, you yeah. have to do it. So I do plan on um, holding myself to to that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of different things. My phone is set up, but I don't always listen, even though it goes off 30 mm -hmm. minutes before I should be laying it down. But I'm being more diligent because as we age, we do need that rest. Uh, even more so. So my goal is seven to eight hours of sleep ev every night. Shut it down. And then also to um, I'm getting up. Getting up and getting the day started. Okay, 1,440 minutes. That's what you got. We know we got 24 hours in a day. What That's am I it. doing with that? So I've already started putting together my schedule minute by minute, what that looks like for uh, uh, exercise regimen to you know, to my prayer time, my spiritual time, all of that. Uh, my balance. actual folk, focus it's time. Balance. Those are the that. things that I'm uh, I'm really putting in, in place, even uh, with family time, things like that, uh, my grandchildren time. So I'm really looking at my schedule a lot, uh, a lot more along with my personal development in a lot mm -hmm. of different areas as well. So That's good. 2024 demands more. And Linda Kidd is, Stepping up to the plate. You on it. You, you are go. on it. You yep. are doing everything you're supposed to do. And you're getting that balance now. So that's what it was all about is getting that yeah. balance. Indeed. And I like the that's part it. when she says she's not cooking her greens until they soupy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. That I, did I it for me, Linda, when greens. you said that. <laughs> yeah, I cannot cook my greens to this day. <laughs> and, and I don't see your face, Queen. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> so that's that definitely so something. Good. So and we're good. definitely eating uh, uh, definitely more vegetables and things like that as well. Yeah, and yeah. one more thing to what Nellie had shared, I'm I'm a giver, okay, and yes. that's that's a given, okay. One thing I had to learn is how to receive, because there you go. As a giver, it was hard for me to receive, mm -hmm. but right. someone. A young minister has said, just say thank you, you That's know, it. because that same person, I'm a giver, but that same person that you are giving to may have, okay, like I have a problem receiving, but that other person may have a problem giving and God may right. be working on their heart to give. And so right. you... Uh, by not receiving, you're blocking their blessing. So that's yes, what I learned about you. that. So whenever I think that, which is less and less uh, all the time say, now, I just say thank you. Yes, say let thank me, you. Let me say something, Ms. Linda. I, you know, that's me. I was uh -huh. in that same boat. This one. You know, because I have uh, an extreme habit of helping everyone. Uh, my neighbors, we'll give an example of that. Uh, my neighbor, when she lost her husband, the Lewis, she lost her husband about maybe 10 years ago. Has it now, been that long? It's been a while, but maybe wow. several years. And he was always taking care of his yard, his front, you know, his grooming, his landscape. And when he passed, I took over that role for him, mm. took care of it for her. And every time I would do a cut or a trim, she would always want to give it. I said, no, no, Miss Lil, no, this is, this is something. I got you. I got you. I got you. She, she knew she I would fussed. always turn it out. She, she fussed. She fussed. <laughs> she fussed and fussed, but I would never accept it. Yeah. Never. I just, I just felt not, not needing that. I said, this is what I want to do. I want to give back. Just keep, mm -hmm. keep his plan going for you. Uh, so you won't have to worry about it. So then she started getting sneaky about it. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Slipping money under, under the, the door, door, putting it in she the said, car. Because I know you won't take it, so I'm going to sneak it. And that's what she's been doing. So every year, <laughs> every year, she like clockwork. Yeah. She'll, she'll always slip a piece under my door. But that, so that's our neighbors. Sleep. You look yeah. out for your neighbors and they're elderly. So we do what we yeah. can. I'm always raking the yard. I'm raking her yard. It's just, that's mm -hmm. just what we do. Just mm -hmm. It's just what we do. So yeah. that's paying it forward. If you can help mm -hmm. out somebody, because who's to say one day we're going to be elderly. Snow we hope somebody going to mm -hmm. come and do our yard for us. But I'll snow blow. He'll snow blow the whole, the block. He'll snow blow the whole <laughs> yard if we get snow. He all the way down the street mm -hmm. with the no blower but that's just just that's just right. the flanagans that's just how we are so we we give and that's like that karma is going to come back to you whether yeah, it's good yeah. or bad you it's just definitely going to come back so just keep doing what you're doing it's just about a balance just mm -hmm. get balanced across the indeed, board indeed. you know don't leave anything out get a little time for this a little time and reach out to those strong ones i have to say that a lot Reach out to those strong ones and just say, I'm thinking about you. We love you. They need your support as well. It's not just a little small man on a totem pole. It's some strong ones that got everybody's back all the time. They need to hear, I got a boy, that mm -hmm. way to go. That kind, They need that as well. So just remember that in, in all your givings. Go ahead, Ms. Jackson. You're next. In oh. Campbell. Um, uh, I love everything that everyone has said, and you two are the power couple. And even though I may not be on every time, but I'm listening to the playback, I'm listening and watching because I've learned so much. But since I've been going to the senior uh, uh, center, you know, our seniors, they need help. And mm -hmm. sometimes they are proud, but most of the time you see them trying to struggle to put their coat on. Help them put their coat on. Mm -hmm. Help them their walker. Help them out the door because they, because one day if you continue to live, you're going to be there too. Absolutely. So these people, I mean, I'm just, every, whatever I can do, I see them, I watch them, I say, let me help you. You know, just, and they so, and most of them are so thankful because mm -hmm. they, you know, they forget to lock their walker and they're trying to get up out the chair and just a little help. It goes right. a long way. That's so right. remember the senior, you know, they got to, in the grocery store, do you want me to get this? Do you want me to get that? Right. You know, help them. Right. Because one day, if God allow us to live that long, we're going to be in the same boat. So I just want to share that with you guys. Thank you for letting me share. Thank you, Miss Laverne Jackson. Uh, well Promise said. and I were just talking about that a little earlier. So many people are 
suffering in silence. Nobody wants to say anything or how ill they are or what's hurting today or what's this or what's that. They, they don't want to say, mm -hmm. but they are truly hurting. Y'all hear these reports and the numbers are staggering. There's some sick people out here and we got work to do because we got something that can help everybody Absolutely that's right. out here if you just follow suit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eat right, exercise, do the little things that you can do, and then just put good things in. And like Ms. Linda said, you got to get your rest. You got the people got to go to bed. You got to turn that TV off and go lay down. You got to drink your water. You got to get out and get that sunlight. This is just not a fad. This is life mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get to be those those uh, what you call centennials that mm -hmm. live into over a hundred. We keep taking these artist products. We might can do that, family. Ain't no, might we will. One forty, one forty, and moving. One forty. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety nine. Talk about get your motorcycle ready. Let's, Let's go for real. <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta keep it moving. You don't move it, you're gonna lose it that's for right. real. So that's what this is all about. Just showing you how to just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep it moving with momentum. Mm -hmm. You hear me, Claudette? Keep it moving with momentum. Okay, Miss Promise, Ms. Promise Go ahead, Miss Promise. Go ahead. You got your hand raised? Go ahead. Okay, it's my turn. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Now you already had a quarter, so I'm, I'm pushing up to 50, 50 cent 50 now. Cent? Oh, check me out. All <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> please, what we want to do uh, is call some of the elders. The elders, yeah, they will talk your ear off, but um, yeah. it's okay. Let's call and check on them. And another little thing, I promise you it works. Laugh at people's joke. Laugh, laugh, it's free. Laugh. When she people say something free. funny, they want you to laugh. Just laugh. It won't take nothing off of you, but it will make them feel good. Some of them might think they become a comedian, but laugh at people's jokes. Thank you. You're quite Thank welcome. You. You're quite Thank welcome. you. We have a message here from Ms. Pamela Thomas out again. I'm going to read your message for everybody uh, that's on Zoom. Uh, Awareness Wednesday has been a knowledge-based program for her. It's erased her ignorance when, in many areas of health, and now she has become a research researcher of health, oh. and she's enjoying doing it. Oh. That's what she states. And she thanks the Awareness Wednesday platform. Oh, I love and it, and Pamela. So thank you, Miss Pamela. I'm glad we were able to inspire you to do this. I love that. that, Pamela. Just play follow that leader. I know. Anybody that can pick up a book and just study anything that's going to mm. better your health, I am there for you. I can, it's okay. what I can recommend say? some books. Exactly. What did it say about a copycat? It's okay to be a copycat. It's okay to be a copycat if you follow the right, the right cat. cats. I cat love that, right Miss Pamela right, Thomas. So Good for do. you. Awesomeness. All right. Not sure if there's anyone else want to share any last comments. It's 713. Uh before we break. Anyone all else? Right, anyone all else? Right, anyone family? else? All Coffee right. and conversation. Yes, Keisha Taylor out of Cincinnati. Go ahead, Miss Taylor. The floor is yours. You are on the air. <laughs> Hi, real quick, real quick, just in case you hear the background with the kids. But all right. I just okay, wanted to say okay. Thank you. Thank you for a wonderful year. Um, you've always been there for not only just our team, for artists, but for me as well. And I appreciate everything that you do as a leader, um, as examples, as a married couple, the love that you share between the two of you. It's 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 breathtaking. And um, I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Um, you two are just absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I can't wait till 2024 comes around. And God just shows us our next move, our next step, the next, the next great thing that we got to do and overcome. That's right. Awesome. But we're awesome, all going to awesome. do it together, family. Indeed. We're not in this by ourselves. No, we're we're all in this together. It's about moving in the right direction with good health, good health, a good balance about things mm -hmm. and just doing it right. If we all just did a little bit, we can go so far. That's right. We can help That's so right. many. So just continue doing what you're doing. Stay mm -hmm. focused. Uh, just stay plugged in. Stay in formation. Stay in formation. Keep Absolutely. taking your products. 
And like a uh, promise, always gifting products, always giving something out. You might have to do that sometimes, family. Like Miss Laverne Jackson, she's giving things away. You got to give to get. It's mm -hmm. okay. It is all right. It's going to come back to you. But it's there's so many people back. that need our help out here, family. And we don't have to be as sick as we are. We just don't. We have to exactly. do better and make better choices. So we're expecting more from all of you in 2024. Make it your best year ever. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So we want to thank you again, family. My coffee been going. Mine too. <laughs> okay. You got to drink it while it's hot. Y'all got to ask me. My hand's been up. It's hot oh, now. Oh, I, I didn't know. I thought it was... Go ahead, bro. Dang, now you're up to 75 cents. Jeez. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. I'm loving this. Hold up. Ahead, now, quick bro. question it's on that snow. I saw you guys snowing a big old kids throwing snow at each other. Is that really a snow thing? Does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we got these snowballs. <laughs> indoor got, snowballs. Yeah, yeah, indoor snowballs. <laughs> we got we got them from I bought these a couple of years ago. Right. They're snowballs. They're just like little cotton balls. Mm -hmm. And they come, I think it's like 20 in a box. Right. Oh, okay, okay. So it's real light. It no. doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> indoor snowballs and we throw them around all day long he could come in from work and i'm hitting him hit with a snowball always <laughs> oh a presentation wow. and i'm and hitting hit him with a snowball well, yesterday on the call shooting with a snowball <laughs> coming out the bathroom i'm throwing snowballs but it's just something we didn't have our grandchildren this year everybody did decided to do christmas at their house and uh, Brittany took the boys to see Santa and they all had their matching pajamas. It was cute. They did Christmas at their house. Mm -hmm. We weren't mad. But the older Shantae had her <laughs> other in-laws at her house. We were down there for Thanksgiving. So right. she got the other in-laws for Christmas. We weren't mad. So me and Reggie <laughs> got our matching pajamas. We got our snacks. We got Netflix. And we had our snowballs. <laughs> so we had, had a, good time. A, a nice Christmas. Yes. <laughs> We miss them little jokers, mm. but we didn't know what to do with ourselves. So we just turned into big old kids That's and throwing snowballs around, right? That's right. But they're not real promise. No, they're not. They're big cotton balls. You can buy them in a in a box. Normally, if it's snow, we have some outside. I have some real ones thrown. No, I'm just kidding. No, no real no. ones. No. Always the fake ones. But we had a good time. You yeah. get tired too. That's a workout. It is. Get the that's up. good. That's good. I love it a lot. I just say, I hope that's not for real. It's going to hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Snowballs in this house? That ain't going to happen. Not up in here. Not up in here. But we did. We had a good time, though. But yes, we, we hope did. everybody enjoyed your Christmas. We hope you have a, a safe and happy New Year's as well. Just enjoy Indeed. yourself. Uh, get on that knee, come 12 o'clock, say that prayer, do what you need to do, turn around in a circle, thank God for count everything that blessings. you got, count mm -hmm. all your blessings, all of them. that we made it into 2024. So we just want to wish all of you guys, I mean, the happiest, happiest new year that you could possibly uh, come across. <laughs> you two must tell you to take a double look, you thought it was real. What's she say? What's she say? Y'all in Jersey, so it snows bad in Jersey. And I really thought at for a while I real I had some real snowballs snow snow until she threw it and I was like, oh, that's not real. Get these and I said, Y'all make some good, perfectly round snowballs. That's the basket right there. This is a basket. We did black and white this year. My whole house could be black and white. But these are the snowballs. See, they squishy. They squishy little <laughs> snowballs. You can even wash them if they get dirty. Yeah. But these are the snowballs. So I just bought a basket to put them all in so we can keep up with Correct. them. Correct. But even though we throw them around the house, I'll still be finding snowballs in February. Yep. You'll find one under the couch. Well, You'll find one up, up in one, of her, <laughs> one of her plants. Behind the heater. Mm -hmm. You're going to find them. I'm going to find them all year long. But those are indoor snowballs family so if you got small kids or if you don't have kids get you some snowballs we yep, had a ball fun. with it yep that's it <laughs> they're not real <laughs> so we want to thank yep. you guys again we gotta go because corporate is having something at eight o'clock all the leaders are going to be on there so we hope to see you guys on uh, the corporate Wellness Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday. corporate. Alejandro what did Miss Jacqueline well. say over there? She said, "Thank you, Power Couple. Of, thank you, Power Couple. You have been very supportive to me in this business, and have also been a great example of how a married couple oh. can do business together. 
I appreciate those informative seasons, uh, sessions, and open it up, uh, sessions. Thank you very much. Oh, yep, thank you, you Miss Jacqueline. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you, thank you, family. Well, thank you, everybody. Well, yes, again, we yes, appreciate yes. you guys. Applaud you. You are always going to be our co-host. We oh. love you to life as always. Um, so continue to support, continue. And 2024, we're going to go to the snowballs. Ready? Throw some snowballs uh -huh. at them. Look at it, throwing them at you now. See that? Y'all ain't did nothing. Get down, y'all. Get, get, get down, get down, get down. There you go. See, I'm, I'm good at it. You know, just, just toss it. <laughs> we love you guys, and there's nothing, nothing you, you can, can do, do about, about it. it either. Oh, we have. Uh, have go, go ahead, go ahead. Who is that? Have your drinks tonight. What happened? Oh, you're going to have your, your we had drinks? Yeah, we, we did. did. We had okay. coffee we had our coffee That was our today. collagen coffee today. He had collagen oh, coffee. Had I had weight my loss. weight loss coffee, and we talked about the Sweet Balance coffee. Yeah. So this was coffee and conversation. So those were our products tonight was our coffee. Yes. Get you some of our coffee. This is it. Good night. There you go. All righty. That's it, family. We All want right, to thank everybody. you guys again for everything. Have a great rest of your evening. And again, thank you for joining us on at our Flanagan Cafe. Thank you very much. We really appreciate Happy you guys. Snowballs. All right. So back at you again. Have a great rest of your uh, a good evening and a rest of the new year. And we'll see you in 2024. We're going to do more. So happy new money, everybody. All right. Take care. God bless you guys. And we love you. And there's nothing you guys can do about it. Good night, Bye fam. For now. <laughs> Here. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.